Understanding Mobile Advertising As a marketer, you are wise to include mobile advertising in your marketing plans. Some experts predict that by 2015, mobile advertising will surpass $50 billion. As a marketer, you cannot afford to ignore this advertising sector. As a marketer, you have several options when it comes to mobile advertising. You can create free apps and earn revenue by allowing ads to run within your app. Or you can purchase advertising to run inside other people's apps. You can also advertise using SMS or text messaging. There are several networks that offer mobile advertising options, including MediaForge and Precision Network. To understand mobile advertising, you'll need to know the lingo. There are a lot of terms that apply specifically to mobile ads. Understand these and you'll understand mobile marketing. In this video, we'll be covering several terms that are specific to mobile phone marketing. The first term we'll learn is CTR. This stands for click through rate. It is not specific to mobile marketing. It's an internet marketing term. CTR stands for the percentage of clicks as compared with the number of impressions. The word impression refers to a person seeing an advertisement. In other words, CTR refers to how many people saw the ad and then how many people actually clicked on it. The next term is global fill rate. This term refers to a network's amount of filler ads in a particular geographic location. A filler ad is used when an advertising slot has not been filled. Most filler ads consist of promotions for the advertising network. This can be very useful information if you know what geographical locations most of your audience or customers are coming from. You should seek out mobile ad networks with the highest fill rate for that location. If you own an app and are running ads within the app, you will care about eCPM. ECPM stands for Effective Cost Per Mile. It measures the amount of revenue generated per 1,000 ad impressions. Rich media refers to media embedded in ads such as flash content, videos, or animated GIFs. SMS stands for Short Messaging Service, also known as text messaging. Some ad networks sell text message advertising. Not all advertisers like SMS advertising. If you're an affiliate marketer, make sure the program allows SMS advertising. MMS stands for Multimedia Messaging Service, or messages that include multimedia content. For example, messages that include images taken by a camera phone. A short code is a short telephone number that can be used to address SMS or MMS messages. For example, a short code can be displayed in an advertisement such as a TV, print, or online ad. Users can respond by using the short code to take part in an activity or to learn more about a service or product. You may have heard short codes mentioned in television or radio ads. For example, an advertisement may say, send a text message to the number 12345 to find out more about this special offer. In response, marketers can send an SMS message containing promotion details or a coupon code. According to current research, 43% of U.S. mobile phone users send SMS or text messages. The number of SMS users is even higher in European markets. This number is likely to grow, along with the number of mobile phone users. WAP stands for Wireless Application Protocol. It refers to the technology used to build mobile web pages. For example, a mobile landing page will use WAP to display your mobile landing page. As more and more people depend on smartphones for work, communication, and entertainment, the world of mobile advertising is set to explode. Experts predict phenomenal growth in the mobile advertising market as more ad networks become available. Smart marketers should have mobile marketing plans in place now. There are several options for mobile marketing including in-app advertising, mobile affiliate marketing, and SMS advertising. Check back with us weekly for new video lessons, or click the subscribe button below, and we'll let you know when new lessons are available.